Hey everyone, welcome back to XFix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you exactly the difference between percentage and viewport width inside of Wix Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in Wix Studio and the first thing I kinda of wanna cover is viewport and what viewport really is. So viewport is a percentage of your screen or your user's device. For example, here inside of the editor, this little fake browser or our artboard here is our viewport. So everything right here, all the way down to the very bottom of the screen, this is where our viewport is going to be for our editor. Now, depending on your user's device, they could be seeing your website on a big monitor a laptop, a tablet, or even a mobile device. So their viewport is typically gonna be different than yours. So it is important that we design our websites and make them responsive in a way that is gonna make it look nice for all breakpoints. Now, if I pull out this button, and let's say we want to change it to a viewport value for width, um, we can press the three dots here, turn on advanced sizing, and now we have additional responsive options that we can choose from, like percentage and the viewport options here. Now, viewport width is a percentage of your user's screen size. So, right now, if I set the width to 100 VW, you're gonna notice it spans the entire width of our editing size. Right now, our editing size is set to 1280, which we can view up here. So if I come over to width and I set this to a pixel value, you will now see that the width of this button is actually 1280 as well. Now I'm gonna switch this back over to VW and just for fun, let's come over to the editing size and pretend that we are on a larger monitor. So we'll set the editing size to 1440. Once again, you'll notice that the button is still taking up 100% of the screen. And if we switch this over to pixels, you'll notice the width matches our editing size. This is exactly what VW is. It's a percentage of our screen, right? So just for now, I'm gonna set this down to 90. So now it's taking up 90% of our screen, right? And what I want to do is just copy and paste this button. I wanna bring this down here. And just for fun, let's actually switch the width from 90 VW to 90%. Now, you'll notice that nothing happened. And that's because percentage is actually a percentage of its parent container. In this case here in Wix Studio, the parent container is the section, and the section spans the entire width of the page. So it's basically the same exact thing in this instance to VW or viewport width. However, I do wanna actually change my definition of percentage a little bit because it's technically a percentage of the space for content inside the parent element. For example, if I grab this section and I add maybe 10% padding on the left and the right, you'll notice a couple things. First, the button that we set as VW did not change at all because the user's screen size didn't change at all. However, for the button that we attached 90% to, did get smaller. And you'll notice that it is 90% of the amount of space that we have for content. So if I set this to 100%, you'll notice that it is taking up 100% of the available space for content. So, to kind of explain this again in a little bit of a different way, let's say we have these two little boxes here. If I grab this button and I turn on advanced sizing, maybe we want this button to span the whole way across our stack here. In order to do that, we can just set this button to 100%. And now it's taking up 100% of the stack and it looks really, really clean. However, if we come down to this box down here and we turn on advanced sizing and instead of doing percentage we did 100 VW you're going to notice now it is way off the screen over here to the right hand side it is completely off the screen because again VW is the size of the screen not its parent container 
So our editing size right here is 1280. So if I switch this button from a VW value to pixels, you'll notice the button is actually 1280 pixels. And typically, actually, I would almost say 99.99999% of the time, you are not gonna wanna do that. You're always gonna want the button to be 100% in this instance. Now, when would you use VW versus percentage? Well, one example we kind of already covered over here. If we want something to span 100% of its area inside of the container, always choose percentage. However, there are certain times when you're gonna to want to use VW. For example, if I just create a section down here, and in this section, let's say we want to add a repeater. And in this section, let's add like five VW as padding on all sides. We'll go ahead and just do that. Let's grab this repeater and we'll stretch it. And maybe we want to have our spacing in between our repeater items be the same as the spacing on the outside. So with the repeater selected, we can come down to the layout area and under the gaps, what we can do is set this to five VW. And now the space in between our items also matches the space around our repeater. And personally, I like doing this because it just makes everything seem like it's part of a grid and looks really modern and clean. Now, if I grab this repeater again, I do want to make a note that if we select on the variations for the gaps right here, we'll notice that percentage is not an option here. We only have pixel viewport height, viewport width, or scale, which scale is like the responsive pixel that is like here in Wix Studio. Um, but I typically always go for viewport width here, um, but we don't actually have a percentage option here. So I always use VW for gaps in between uh, items with grids and percentages for things like inside the repeater, like the button that example. So if this box, instead of it just being a normal floating box like it is, if this was a repeater item, I would always use VW for the padding for the grid gap, but then I would use percentage for the elements inside of the item, if that makes sense. I hope this video kind of helped explain what viewport and percentage really means and how to best use them here in Wix Studio. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one.